welcome to my playhouse and today I will show you an old server. This server is an IBM server and it's so old that it's not an X server but it's an E server and that's some kind of stunt that IBM did in the start of the century. Um, but let's go to the table and see the server. Please give me that thumbs up while you remember it. Here's the server. It's a 1U server. It's actually also called an X server 336. And here is that it's an E server. And that's the model number and the serial number. And over here is the light on diagnostics light path diagnostics sorry about that which shows if there is something wrong inside of the server and um, when i just got this server i thought that there, oh, there's no hard drives in it it's, this is only blanks that's weird and then i took one of, one of them and actually the hard drive is in there and it's an ordinary sata hard drive 80 gigs rather slow one I think this is probably the cheapest system that they have and you can you can take them out and it's a max to drive and blah 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 yeah rather regular hard drive you could probably exchange these for something a lot bigger than that and on the bottom there's a CD-ROM drive this is not the that's not the best system ever. Put that back on. Um, otherwise, there's there's a USB stick, right? Or USB port right there. There's a power on indicator. There's the power on button, and you need something to press that. You can't turn on the server with your fingers on this one. There's a hot hard drive LED and there's the light tower LED and there is an information and a LED to if there's something wrong. Let's push that back in. Let's go behind the back. Oh, actually this server is not very heavy so, so we'll just bring the back to us. This is the behind of the server and from right to left here is the management port there's two network ports. Up here is a half size PHI port. Over here is a full size PHI port. There's some LEDs to show the, the activities on the network cards. There's a PS2 connection, one for mouse, one for keyboard. There's a two USB connections. There's a serial connection. There's the monitor connection right there. And there is the three light diodes to show that there's power on, the light tower, and if there is any problems. And this server has two power supplies. Rather nicely. That's I rather like this design. There are 585 watts. It says it right there. That's a nice piece of power supply. I didn't get that in right, I think. That's better. So, there is not much behind the server here. That is probably just the things you need. Nothing more, nothing less. On the top of the server, there is a, a drawing about what everything is. Here is the operator information panel. And that's the light. Like path diagnostics that they're referring to. Actually, it's only the front of it. And then there is something about the hot drives, how to take those out. And these are not hot swappable. Very much something you have to be aware of. And otherwise, there is the explanation of all the buttons on the light path diagnostics. To get into the server, there's a there's actually three options. <laughs> There's a left here where you have access to the fan blowers or some of them 
and everything with orange is hot pluggable so these fan blowers can actually be unplugged while the server is running just unplug this and take out the cable and it says that um, you have to do this within five minutes otherwise the system will shut down something to remember close that again and then there is another one over here there's a lot of information here but it's more or less just some fans there's room for one more here I guess this it's not necessary in this system and there is the behind of the hard drives right there and just check the connections and uh, some explanation here about how to remove these fans and they're they're hot pluggable as well and here is a lot of um, replacement numbers for components inside of the server so if something breaks there's a number for getting that component and this server is so old so if something breaks it's a lot cheaper to search for these numbers at on eBay than on IBM's homepage. Let's go into the server itself. And for once, this big LED does not carry in any information. Normally, there's a lot of information on that one. They have put that all the places in this server. There's a lot of information on this. Thing, which is the PCI riser card but let's let's see what we got we got this server is equipped with one processor and that's placed right here we can only see the the heatsink of it there's room for one more processor over here as far as I know this is first generation Xeon processor uh, they're slow as hell yeah, whatever. The server comes with 8 slots for memory and it can take up to 16 gigabytes of memory. This is the power distribution system for the processor. There is one in it and there is one slot more over here. So if I was to put in another processor in this server, I would have to put in one more of these VRMs voltage regulator modules the two power supplies are right here inside a nice casing and there's a little PCB for them here and the power is going into the main motherboard uh, right down here and some power is going up here to the hard drives and probably somewhere also for the CD-ROM drive. To see some more of what's going on down here, I'm gonna remove this. Um, and to do that there is two hinges and they're very much like the ones that I used for the RAM. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Just unplug those and this comes off. And on this there is this, this little drawing of the motherboard and over here is what everything is. And here is something about the memory, how to configure the memory. This memory, um, it, you can put in single uh, DIMMs, but it recommends that you put them in in pairs to get the best performance. Okay. Underneath this, there is some different stuff. The server comes with an, an SCSI controller and it's an LSI logic. And the port for connecting SCSI is right here. There's nothing SCSI in the server as it is, but it comes with it and it's, it's probably works okay. It's probably not very expensive, but it's there. Here is the graphics processor and it's an ATI mobile Radeon CPU down there. And this is where the RSA adapter is supposed to be. That goes down into this plug. The, this server does not have the RSA adapter for the management, so probably this port over here is not doing very much right now. But that's more or less what's beneath this card. There's other chips and there's jumpers. There's 
you have the option of resetting the password and doing all kind of funny stuff right down here by jumpers but there is really not much inside of this over here is the BIOS battery and here we have some Broadcom that's for the network cards and the Intel chipset processor is right there but I want to take off this heatsink to see what kind of a processor is installed in this server so I have a screwdriver here so we're gonna take that off let's see what we have down here I'm not sure that the camera will be able to, to get that it's more or less just says that it's a CN processor wonder if there's anything in the bottom of it yeah this is a 3000 dp uh, 2 megabytes of internal cache and 800 megahertz oh yeah this is a slow processor okay I'm not sure that this server is ever gonna run again but anyway I'll just put on some cooling pasta so if it if it's ever gonna run again it's not gonna be missing cooling that we are and we'll put this back very carefully and put this back on and it, it goes down pretty much like a memory block just needs to hit this slot over here there no problem it's not really much to show inside this server kind of a disappointment actually so let's put the cover back on That was a very quick look inside of this IBM E or X server 336. I don't think I'm gonna use this server for anything, it's, it's too slow. Even though this is a 3 GHz processor, it's very slow. The processors that I have in my other servers, they're actually 10 times faster than the processor in this one. So. I think you get almost as much calculation power out of a calculator. Should you go out and buy a server like this? Nope, don't buy one like this. If you get it for free, you can play around with it and throw it out later. But don't buy one, That's, it's a waste of money. Thank you for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and remember to give me that thumbs up. So have a nice day, bye bye. Thank you.